Hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over dream snaps. But first, we need to follow what is up in the top left hand corner of our screen because we need to bring Vanellope into the valley first. So now we're going to talk to Scrooge for a little bit. He's going to go through a whole bunch of dialogue as usual. And he's going to tell us that the, he thinks he saw a ghost in the castle. So we're going to have to go check that out. And when we do, guess who we're going to find? You got it. We're going to find Vanellope. Let's go up there now because I can't wait. Once we're in the castle, we just have to go the whole way up to the very, very top. But we find Vanellope and she is glitching and I think it's so cute. I absolutely love Vanellope. How about you guys? I know everyone's been waiting for her, so I know everybody loves her. But she is adorable and she's sassy too and that's what I like about her. She's like, wait, wait, I've been rehearsing for this moment. I am Vanellope Von Schweetz, princess and president of Sugar Rush and slaughter race driver extraordinaire. Nice. So we get to talk to her for a little bit. And as we get talking to her, we're not going to go through her whole dialogue because I don't think we need to. But once we get talking to her, she will ask us to take a picture. And then this is where the dream snaps come in. Now that we've had a good little look at her, since she is adorable, and I am so, so happy we got her. And she came with the coolest items. Have you guys played the quest with her yet? Oh my word. I am going to put out a new video for that. But let's go ahead and look at the Dream Snaps information because she will tell us here after we get done with her dialogue. And then the quest begins. Dream Snaps. Some optional quest content can only be accessed by using our Dream Snaps feature. Dream Snaps is a fun new game mode that lets you express your creativity and earn exclusive prizes. Decorate, take a photo with your phone, and submit. It's a snap. That's the first part of this and it is actually a snap and then we got the requirements under your event tab you're going to see dream snaps now you will not see it when you first log into your game but you will now that you've talked to vanellope the challenge requirements can be found in the dream snap section of the events menu and you can also check challenge requirements in the photo mode with rt because i'm using the xbox controller or in your wardrobe or furniture menus when dream snaps mode is activated and i will show you my picture that i did for this whole tutorial it's really dumb but you know what I'm going to show you anyway. And once you're done with that, all you've got to do is run out of the castle and we're going to go outside. I chose to do my picture inside because I had a lot more room in there and I knew I was just going to set up a couple things just for this little tutorial and just to get it over with. So that's where we're going to head. We're going to head to my very top floor. I only have three in my house and we're going to take pictures there. Before we make magic happen in the house, let's go over here to our event tab and take a look at our dream snaps tab. So our current challenge. Cross the finish line by decorating in tribute to everyone's favorite racing princess, Vanellope Von Schweetz. To begin, check the challenge requirements in the Dream Snaps tab in the events menu, which that's where we're at. Decorate an area in your valley with furniture that uses the required challenge tags. Snap a photo with your phone and submit it to Dream Snaps. So what we're looking for, the mandatory items are playful and familiar. It says playful times five and familiar times five. I put in playful and familiar i'll show you that and i only had to put five items out apparently i ended up with six because i must have had one that was only one or the other but you can get away with only putting five out and the suggested items are modern and wreck it ralph i would recommend adding some suggested items in there just because i think you're going to make out better i think you're going to get more more points by adding those it's just me uh, from what i read on their little twitter page i think it's going to be better if we do it that way. So here we are in my room. So we're going to open our inventory up. And I kind of wish they would have put the request at the top. So we do need to go into our categories. And I go into all. And once you're into all, I mean, you can, I think you can sort this any old way. But you're going to go up into filters. And my button is X, just whatever button it is, just click that. And we're going to go down. We're going to scroll down here a little bit. And we're going to get down here to the bottom where it says traits and we're going to click on playful and we're going to click on familiar. So now it's going to pull up everything that we need that's in those two traits. And I, I was going to do Wreck-It Ralph too, and I didn't not for this one. So this coin op game. Yeah, that was a winner. And I picked a couple more things out. I actually picked a total of five at first, set them all out, took a picture 
and I was missing one of the traits. And I believe it was the picture I hung on the wall. So be careful when you're inside. Don't use wall items because I don't think they count. If you don't pick any wall items, you'll be fine. You'll get all of them. And also there's this nifty little toggle at the top beside filters that you can turn on and it'll bring everything that you need to the top. I prefer it by using the filters myself. That's just me. But you do you. Let me know in the comments which way you prefer to do it. And you'll know if you got it right or wrong because you'll get a screen like this that'll tell you in the left hand corner you're missing. In my case, I was missing one playful and one familiar. And this is why I suspect that the wall items will not work in these pictures. Just keep that in mind. So I went back into my inventory and I found myself a little Mickey lamp that I could set on the floor. And then once I did that, I was five out of five. And once you reach the requirements, go ahead and submit it. I'm going to go ahead and submit this now because it said I had five of five. And now we're going to get 50 pixel dust, which will unlock Vanellope. Not only does it unlock Vanellope, but it also unlocks the dream snaps. Let's go back up to the castle and finish this quest out. And we're back in the castle with Vanellope. And we're just going to talk to her a little bit. And then she's going to go through a little bit of dialogue. And it is adorable. So I hope you all got a chance to do this. Just listen to her. Let her talk. You gab with her a little bit. And then she is going to say she needs a beacon. Once she tells you this, she's going to give you her house. It's time to go set up her house. Let's go do that. Because we got to get through this whole quest before we can get Dream Snats officially. And because I've heard a lot of things from other streamers about her going to sleep right away, as soon as you get her house, she comes into your village, she goes to bed. We're going to grab some candy for her. I still have some Halloween candy. What we're doing is we're as soon as we get her, we're going to start talking to her and giving her stuff so that we can get up to level two. And then you can ask her to hang out with you. That way she doesn't leave and go to sleep. So that's what we're doing here. Make sure you set that up first. And I've decided to put her house in the plateau because that's where I have Maribel's house and it's so colorful and, and fun. And I also put the candy house. I don't know what you want to call it, but the candy house that was in the premium shop. I put that one up here as well. And I have started working on a path, as you can see. I'm trying to set this all up so it's all pretty. One of Vanellope's quests is to build like a racetrack out of her own pathing. So I'm probably going to have to rethink my pathing up here. We got our house situated. Now we just have to pay 4,000 star coins. That's it. Pretty cheap. I'm very excited about that. And once we have her house, we get to welcome Vanellope into our valley. I'm so excited. Let's go over to the well and welcome her. And then I'll show you exactly what I mean by we have to give her food right away, okay? Oh my god, she is so cute. Look at her dancing. I love this. When you go to take a picture, she just slides. She glides in there and slides. I love it. She does it every time you take a picture, so it doesn't matter. Like, if you miss it the first time, turn your camera off and do it again. I did a couple pictures here. I'm just going to keep moving. You're not going to have to watch me pose for an hour. So let's talk to her real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, we are finally finishing up this quest. And when you take that picture, you're going to get the little dream snaps notice on your screen saying that it's now up and running. You can now use it. And once we've completed this quest, this is where you want to stop her right away. <laughs> Don't let her get away. You're just going to keep talking to her and you're going to say, I have something to give you. And you're going to keep giving her something. Make sure you got something in your pocket. I don't even think it matters what it is. I chose the candy because she's the candy girl. But you could use anything. I think it took me three candies to get her up to level two. And once you do that, then just have her hang out with you and you'll be fine. She won't go to sleep. She will stay with you until you tell her to go away or you shut your game down. Let's check out the current Dream Snaps challenge. And once you finish that quest, you now have the opportunity to opt into the dream snaps. You can opt out of it or just say not now. And if you say not now, you can opt in later if you choose to. The only difference is you're not going to get all those moonstones. You're not going to get everything involved with this challenge. You can opt in or opt out right here. So once we do that, I'm opting in using items that meet the challenge. We've already gone over this. You can also get more points by winning votes from the community. And when the challenge is finished, results are calculated and you get rewards based on your ranking. So things to keep in mind here. This first week of this challenge, we are not going to be able to vote on anything because there wasn't a week prior to this. Going forward, there's always going to be a week prior. So we're going to always be able to vote every week. But during this first week, 
you're only going to be able to submit your picture. You will not be able to vote yet. It will change every Wednesday. So every Wednesday is when you're going to want to go in there and start voting and start taking a new picture. Does that make sense? All right, let's keep going. And our very first real challenge is we need to wear something that's elegant and wondrous. Three of each. And you probably can find these just like we found in the in the tutorial that we probably can match these together and only have to wear three items. Or suggested, traditional, and lavish. So you can also put those in your little search, you know, when you're looking for clothing. Just use those as your search terms and you can probably get all of them. So, okay, let's go ahead and get changed. So down here under your traits and styles, that's where you're going to find your different things that you got to pick, like elegant. We're going to pick that and wondrous is up under trait. And then, of course, you could do the other two. I think one was traditional if you wanted to. I didn't do that in this one. I ended up getting more elegant and wondrous items than I thought I was with just a clothing challenge. It was amazing how many clothing pieces I could put on that matched all these traits. So let me go show it to you. Once you have your outfit picked out and you're in the location where you want to be, just pull out your camera and take a picture. You'll see in the bottom left hand corner, it says show dream snaps. So you're going to press whatever it tells you to press there. And up at the top, you can see elegant. I have seven of three and wondrous. I have eight of five. So at this point, I can say yes to submit. And once we go to submit it, it'll ask you if you're sure. So then you can say yes, submit it or you can cancel out of that. Then once you do that, if this were the next week, we'd be able to vote as well. Let me show you where you can see the picture that you've submitted and where you can actually vote. You just need to go to your event tab, click on your Dream Snaps current challenge, and you'll be able to pull up a picture. You can hit whatever button it tells you. See the bottom. You can go back or show full screen. Just go ahead and you can click on that so you can see your picture full screen. You can also change this picture between now and the time that the voting starts. So you have a week to make your picture perfect. So if you didn't like this one, you can re-upload the exact same way you uploaded the first one, but just taking a new picture and replacing the one that you'd already taken and submitting it. That's all you have to do. It's really, truly a snap to get this done. With this challenge and the moonstones that you're already getting in game, you can walk away with like 750 moonstones every week. So what are you waiting for? Get on out there and start taking pictures. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Bye.